Um, I am the licensed insurance adjuster for the group. Um, I am licensed to work on behalf of uh, the property owner, not the insurance company. So in the state of Florida and in many other states, uh, there are uh, different types of adjusters. There are staff adjusters who work for the insurance company. There are independent adjusters who are uh, third party uh, license holders who are hired by the insurance company but are still uh, working on the insurance company's behalf. Um, and then there's me. There's the public adjuster who protects the interests of the public. Uh, I adjust the claim um, basically with the homeowner's best interests in mind. If the coverage is there and the damage is there, then I'm going to do my best to recover the funds for it. But before we get too farther into adjusting, let's talk a little bit about me because it's important to get to know the person that you're referring business to. Um, you know, behind all of the uh, mounds of paperwork that I've got to go through and all the inspections, there's a human being. Uh, and that human being is Callahan Keene. I was born and raised here in St. Petersburg. Um, I love this city. I love the people that I surround myself with. Um, I love my dog, Chula. Uh, that's, that's her at uh, Crescent Lake Park in the sunrise. I love taking sunrise walks and bike rides. Um, these are some of my family. That's my father and my mother, my brother, my girlfriend, and I up top uh, on our trip in Puerto Rico, where she is from. And there's me uh, doing a BNI presentation. Um, this is something else that I love to do. Um, I like connecting with people and with other business owners uh, because there's a lot of great things that. I learned from coming to these meetings, and I hope that uh, I can teach you guys a thing or two. Um, I also love music. Um, I am a DJ, so on the weekends, I bring out my records, and I play them for people, and I hope to bring joy to them through doing that. Uh, that's me on Record Store Day in front of Daddy Cools and some of my records in the background. Um, I love the outdoors, um, so take trips to northern Georgia, like I said earlier, to Puerto Rico. If you can't tell what that is in the, the middle, that is a 586-foot rappel that I did in northern Georgia uh, called the Fantastic Pit in Ellison Cave. And a little bit about Ask an Adjuster. So um, this is a team that I joined about three years ago, um, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, as someone who did not have any experience with uh, adjusting insurance claims, this couldn't have been a better way to start. Uh, we have uh, over 90 licensed insurance adjusters in the state of Florida. We have about 30 back of house staff that you know help us um, process claims while we are out inspecting uh, properties and arguing with the insurance company. And so, you know, this is, uh, it's a great team to be a part of. A little bit about Ask an Adjuster and the credentials that uh, I'm backed by. So it's a company that's been in business for about 18 years. Uh, started back when Florida was hit by Hurricane Wilma and uh, it was uh, you know, kind of been being thrown into the fire because if anyone remembers Wilma, it was pretty devastating. Um, so since then, we've processed over 50,000 claims, recovered over a billion dollars in insurance proceeds for our clients, and um, yeah, we continue to do so. So you know, I, I think those numbers are just continuing to grow, and uh, I'm honored to be a part of that team. So uh, a little bit about myself personally, uh, in terms of my position at Ask an Adjuster. So I am one of those 90 licensed adjusters. Uh, a lot of our adjusters are over on the East Coast. We've got some in the Panhandle, uh, and we have some here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, but my personal track record is that uh, I've handled about 300 claims within the past uh, three and a half years or so. Um, 
And uh, personally, uh, out of those claims, I've recovered over a million dollars for my clients um, because I'm very diligent with my process. Um, I write almost all of my own estimates and um, I make sure that you know, not a stone is unturned when I'm adjusting my claims. Here's some of the past successes that I've had, uh, some of the insurance companies that I've gone up against, some of them paying out zero dollars in their initial uh, assessment of the claim. And as you can see, as you go down the line, $30,000 settlement, 75,000. Sometimes they do pay something, but it's nowhere near enough. And so, you know, uh, it definitely is in your best interest to, uh, to hire a public adjuster in the event that you have an insurance claim. Um, even if you're thinking about filing, um, it's good to have an opinion from someone that's on your side before you file. Uh, just yesterday, uh, Joel and I went out to a property and he was, the homeowner was thinking about filing a claim for sinkhole because he had some cracks in his drywall that weren't there before. And I said, well, let's take a look at your policy. Turns out it did not cover sinkhole. Uh, if he would have filed that, that claim would have been on his record for the rest of his life, and that's not good for underwriting purposes. Your premiums will go up if you file a ton of claims in a small amount of time. So it's good to be uh, you know, picky and choosy with, and selective with the claims that you file. Um, here's some photos of damage that I saw from Hurricane Ian. Uh, we will be having more hurricanes in the future in Florida. That is just where we live. Um, this was a study that came out from uh, Colorado State University just with what is projected for 2024. So, you know, I, I don't know if that is going to be the exact amount of storms that we have, but it's, it's going to be a pretty crazy hurricane season if this is, if this is uh, projected to be accurate. So, what do you have in your file um, to basically tell the insurance company that no, these damages were not pre-existing. Uh, pre-existing conditions is, is a big reason for why claims are denied. And so one thing that I ask an adjuster offers is a certificate of good condition. If you wanna know the state of your property right now before the storm hits, you can call us for a free inspection and we'll give you that certificate of good, good condition. And it's free, so you don't need to pay us for it. But in the event that a claim does happen, you can know that we'll be on your side to advocate for you. Um, so once again, my name is Callahan Keen with Ask an Adjuster. Inspect, advise, collect.